We are getting set for the weekend and of course Valentine's Day coming up for tomorrow. So let's take a look at your Valentine's Day forecast. We are going to have all clear skies. It's going to be a little milder tomorrow. The high in the upper 50s. The breeze is going to pick up, so that's going to make it feel pretty chilly tomorrow evening. So keep that in mind when you're heading out and about. Down to 36 as we head through tomorrow night and feeling colder as we get into Sunday. Let's take a look at the wind, which is going to start off fairly light tomorrow, but then pick up and become gusty in the afternoon, gusting to about 20 miles per hour. And those gusts will continue as we head through tomorrow evening. Our temperatures were kind of at the southern edge of some pretty cold air, chilly here. Get back to the west, it's much warmer, but before that can get in here, we've got more cold air to the north that's going to reinforce the cold air that's in the east. So we warm up a little bit tomorrow, then we're going to cool right back down. We start off, I think we'll be around or below freezing in many spots first thing tomorrow. And we're up in the mid to upper 50s tomorrow afternoon, but then tomorrow night the cold air starts to move back in. And we could be as low as freezing or so, although other models are a little bit warmer than this first thing Sunday. But either way, Sunday is definitely going to be the colder of the two days coming up. As high as going to be back in the 40s like they were today. Now we don't have any precipitation affecting us over the weekend. Skies will stay mostly clear. On Monday, we'll track clouds increasing in the area. Even though we see a little bit of light green showing up, it's doubtful that we're really getting any significant rain chances until sometime later Monday night and into Tuesday. Out on the water, the wind's going to stay up for the most part because of the changing temperatures, so not the best weekend for your boating plans. Seas won't be too high because of the direction becoming more from the west and northwest, but still the winds are going to be pretty whipping at times. Here's your storm tracker seven day, and the up and down temperatures continue. Highs drop back in the 40s for Sunday. We drop in the upper 20s for lows Sunday night. Clouds increase Monday with highs getting up into the 50s. Rain is on the way for next Tuesday. And then that's going to be followed by some more cold air as we head through the middle to end the next week with highs around or below 50. Kevin and Jennifer lows once again later next week, dropping back down below freezing.